the Osama bin Laden operation caught on Twitter, Sony hacked again, and could your TV set go the way of your landline phone? All that and more on Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes or less. and welcome to Tech Life. I'm your host, Ashley Esqueda. Joining me, as always, my amazing co-host, Barb Dibwad. How are you, Barb? I cannot complain. Yeah, so let's jump right into it. So by far the biggest news this week, U.S. forces raiding and taking down Osama bin Laden. Technology played a very important role when a user on Twitter in Pakistan ended up unknowingly live tweeting the entire raid as it unfolded. What did you think? This is something that is going to go into a history book, and this guy is unknowingly placed himself in the middle of that by being the person to break the news of that raid. I know his last tweet of the night was, I, in fact, did not kill Osama bin Laden, so please leave me alone. I would like to sleep now. And let me go to bed. So last week on Tech Life, we reported that the PlayStation Network had been hacked. Well, it isn't exactly Sony's month as their Sony Online Entertainment Service, which is their computer equivalent to their console PlayStation Network, also hacked, affecting 24.6 million more users. So for people who don't know, SOE, or the Sony Online Entertainment Network, is the PC equivalent of the PlayStation Network. The two breaches combined equal over 100 million users affected. Do you think that gamers are going to distrust these Sony services now? Are they going to play online less? I don't think they're going to play online less, but they may choose in the future not to go with a Sony branded service. In a sentence, Barb, Sony, you got some splaining to do. <laughs> So here's a story we always like to report on because it's new gadgets. Yay! Apple has released a new iMac version, which is their all-in-one desktop computer. And this time we've got some faster processors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got a new FaceTime high-definition camera. The processor speed is now 70% faster than the previous model of iMac, which is a huge upgrade. The new high-speed Thunderbolt port. This is a uh, port that's similar to, say, a USB drive, but when you plug it in to transfer files from that to an external drive, the transfer speed is tremendous. I mean, yeah, it's like I think 100 times faster. So they range in price from $11.99 and work their way up to $19.99. And if you're a Mac fan and you're looking to get a new computer, the best time is always right when they just refresh the line because you know it's not going to become obsoleted by a new model anytime soon. Mm -hmm. So you're getting good value when you buy close to this refresh cycle. So this is an interesting development in the cell phone community. Research in Motion, who makes BlackBerry devices and the BlackBerry operating system, have finally joined the 21st century and updated their operating system and unveiled a touchscreen BlackBerry. Unfortunately, there is a downside to BlackBerry 7 OS, and that is that if you own a current BlackBerry phone, you, my friend, will not be upgrading to BlackBerry 7 because no BlackBerry phone, except for this new one, the 9900, will be compatible with BlackBerry 7. Wah, wah, wah. Nielsen, the group that handles the TV rating system, mm -hmm. is reporting a 2.2% decline in ownership of TVs in U.S. households year over year, which is the first time that that has happened in two decades. What do you think of this? Well, I mean, it's obviously a sign of the times. One being that the economy is pretty sluggish. On top of that, you also have this amazing explosion of different devices that are not televisions that you can watch TV on. Well, everybody, that is all the time we have this week at Tech Life on Tekka. It has been a joy sharing the stage with you and oh. telling everybody about the great news that's happening this week. No, you. You! Stop, you're making me blush. Hey.